guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Welcome to this week's Twin Flame reading. So this is going to be reading for um, June the 9th until the 16th. I'm using Romance Angels Oracle cards and I think I will do a crossroads. Okay, let me pull the cards first. So I mix them up? Um, yeah, I think I will. So I'll just use three of the Romance Angels for now. And the bottom of the deck as well. And what else? So I have, um, call it Baron Reed, Enchanted Map. So this will be the heart space. Whoops. Um, the relationship. The challenge. And the advice. Hopefully you guys can see those. Okay, so let's begin with the bottom of the deck. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. So in last week's Twin Flame reading, this um, was a strong energy that was coming from the masculine side. So now it's a shared energy between both aspects. So, um, yeah, it's like... You know, when you feel love um, and you express that love, then it'll come back to you. But if you're closed off, um, you know, you'll forever be alone. You need to be able to open yourself up and, and feel emotions. <clears throat> okay, let's begin with the masculine side. So, uh, or sorry, the feminine side. Um, so this is how... She feels about herself, retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. So this card is very similar to, uh, you know, the honeymoon card. Um, so this is, you know, people from the external world are giving you advice um, and their opinions. Uh, and so there's this desire for the two of you to get away together, to be alone, to deepen your bond with one another. The masculine side, new love, a new person has stirred romantic feelings. So this is how he feels about himself. Okay. So, um, to me, this is a very similar to the ace of cups. You know, there's this newness, this, um, ability to feel love and express love. So this could be, um, a renewal of, um, loving um, feelings for the feminine or it could be um, literally a new person. But again, this is the position of how he feels about himself. So, you know, this could all be about self-love. Um, let me just have a quick look here. Okay, so, so they basically, 
um, there's an introduction of someone new or, you know, like I said before, it's a renewal of uh, a connection. Um, and you want to know if it's safe to explore this connection. So what th this card is saying is that, yes, the feelings are reciprocated. You're both feeling this connection and it is safe to love. It's safe to open up. So how does the feminine feel about herself? Trust. The situation is calling you to be, to have faith. Um, so she, she's beginning to trust the masculine. She is, you know, starting to trust in divine timing. Um, she's asking, you know, the question, you know, is this my twin flame? Is everything that I'm experiencing real? Um, and basically this card is saying that, you know, trust your gut instincts, your intuition. What is it telling you? Okay, so what does masculine feel about himself? Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance very similar energy of, um, you know, having faith that, you, you know, your, your divine feminine will come towards you. Um, but more so this is talking about positive attitude, you know, the law of attraction, you send out positive vibrations, it'll come back to you. And also this card speaks about self-love. All right. So again, positive vibrations feeling those positive vibrations first feel the love first and then that love will come to you okay so what does the feminine want the mat or yeah want the masculine to know engagement your love life is ascending to higher levels of commitment so what i'm feeling with this is that you know even though things may be strained there may be distance there may be complications um, she's forever committed or perhaps she wants to deepen the bond because that's kind of what I'm seeing with the retreat, the trust, you know, there's this sense of her wanting to open up to, you know, to go to deeper levels, to higher levels. Okay. And what does masculine want the feminine to know? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So very similar to express your love. Um, you know, this is having honest, heartfelt conversations. Um, you know, finding mutual connections. Um, and it's all about deepening that bond. Get to know one another. So the masculine wants the feminine to know that he desires to get to know her, to make a connection. Um, to explore each other again. Okay, so the heart space for the feminine, sad embrace. So just like the card shows, it's, you know, heartbreak, it's pain. In the heart space, she's hurting. Um, she feels that she's lost the connection with the masculine or, you know, it's not a very good card to have basically in the heart space. So there is some healing to do. Um, what I'm seeing here is a real desire to connect with the masculine um, and heal. The heart space for the masculine peaks of joy. So this is a very positive card. Um, he's feeling like things are coming together, that his dreams are coming true. And so he is feeling a lot of excitement, a lot of renewal, a lot of uh, joy coming into his life. And he's celebrating that. So this is in his heart space, very opposite energies. And of course, in the extended version, I'm going to be doing a little bit of reading and of course, pulling three additional cards. So that if you want to purchase that or watch the extended readings, um, you can either go to my website or um, I offer them through Patreon as well. You get three, um, the, the three extended readings weekly times four. So that's for a month plus you, um, you get it earlier than YouTube and also 
you get um, a mid-month reading that is only for Patreons as well. So, um, yeah, or you can purchase it at my website. So, what was I saying? So, this is going to be the challenge for the masculine. Oh, sorry, this is how he views the relationship. So, ride the wave. So, again, a feeling of peaks of joy, of excitement. Um, the masculine feels that he's in the zone, in the vortex, um, as far as the, the relationship is concerned. He feels empowered. Um, he feels that momentum is building. Um, yeah, and he's riding the wave, right? He's allowing the wave to take him where he needs to go. A lot of emotions here. Like, the, these dolphins are obviously immersed in water, right? Um, so, uh, water represents your emotions. So, how does the feminine feel about the ma masculine? The relationship is the gentle gardener. So, she is careful with her thoughts. She knows that her thoughts are seeds of intention that she sends out. So, she's trying to keep her thoughts positive, even though there's a lot of pain a uh, desire to reconnect um, in terms of the relationship. Um, she's nurturing it. Or she's in this nurturing energy. She, she's helping it to grow to, um, you know, there's so much potential there, so much growth. Okay, so this is the challenge for the masculine compass. <clears throat> so the compass talks about your true north. So, you know, this is your inner guidance system as well as divine guidance system. So, you know, as long as you have your inner guidance system pointed towards your truth, then you can never go wrong, right? You all, There will always be light in the darkness. So the challenge, masculine, is to... Um, Find or keep your direction, you know, whenever things happen in your life, um, the challenge is to stay positive, not to allow, you know, the external world to knock you off course. Um, you know, there's this sense of the divine um, helping you, guiding you but perhaps you're not listening. And so the challenge for the feminine is goblins. Yes, of course, that's what I'm seeing here, right? Um, the gentle gardener is all about thoughts, you know, keeping those thoughts positive. And then we got that sad embrace at the heart space. So the challenge is not to listen to those thoughts, to heal any wounds from the past to not be afraid to venture out into you know places that you've never been before so this really talks about old wounds needing to be healed and what is the advice is into the unknown for the masculine so the challenge is you know to keep your compass pointed towards those things that are best for you, um, you know, and using your intuition and all that kind of thing. So the advice is to go into the unknown, to seek those answers, to not be afraid. Um, you may not see where you're going, but trust that, you know, you are being looked after and that everything that's happening is happening for your highest good. All right, that's beautiful. Okay, so the um, advice for the feminine, wow, home, home. This is, this talks about feeling at home in your own skin, feeling comfortable with yourself, living authentic, um, you know, just also creating a, a home um, for your your family, you know what I mean? It's just creating this beautiful environment. So home, the challenge is the goblin forest. The advice is to embrace this, 
this feeling of home, be home, create a home. Okay, so let's see. Let's pull two cards from Myths and Mermaids. I've been watching this cheesy, um, I think it's a Netflix series. It's a TV series. It's called Siren. Um, so I watched a couple minutes of the first episode. I'm like, hey, that looks so familiar. And of course, it's, it's filmed here in BC at uh, Port Moody. So, um, I'm going to pull out the Miss and Mermaids just for this reading. So, what are your final messages, Spirit? Stop for the feminine first, and then the masculine. So, yeah, the, the anyways, the movie was about mermaids, right? And... Um, yeah, the siren song. Okay, so for the feminine first, green mermaid triplets and the masculine sea beasties. So the, the um, green mermaid triplet, this talks about having your friends around you. You know, you're not alone. So if you need to talk or reach out, um, you know, that's something that spirit feels you need to do. <clears throat> okay. Away from the pack, apart from the crowd, strong and sound and honor abound. Independent and proud, just don't forget your sisters waiting in the wings, the strength they bear, support and care. They're here, they're there, they're everywhere. Separation strains but cannot break such strings. Immediately, um, I was thinking about a conversation that I was having with... Um, one of the subs and you know I the way that I see the channel is the masculine I can't separate the two you know so if things are going well in the twin flame connection there's withdrawal there's you know resentment there's you know negative energy then I retreat from the channel and I feel that there's this tug of war and I need to be able to separate the two um, yeah so that's my challenge and to also realize that there's a lot of people out there supporting me um, and not to get discouraged you know when I, I feel like giving up um, there's so many beautiful spirits surrounding me and you know I just want you guys to know I really appreciate you so much I do feel that I'm in a you know a negative vibration um, but you guys keep me positive you know, I feel that my subs are dropping, my views are dropping. So it can be a little scary, you know, like I feel like I'm losing control of the situation. But um, all in all, I got to stay on the positive side and think about the positive things. <clears throat> because you create your own reality, right? Okay, so a sprightly green and black mermaid is flanked on either side by identical mermaid sisters. This inseparable trio is held together by a strong family familial bond, presenting themselves as a united front against the worries of the world. So the message is, you're not alone. There is no need to feel so isolated. You've got your sisters by your side. The world is so much easier to face when you do it hand in hand. And it's not just sisters. Um, I have a lot of beautiful masculines that are supporting me as well. I actually wanted to mention two of them. Um, I have this, you know, small group of enlightened souls that I, I connect with. Um, they're my family. And uh, we like to get together every once in a while and do a group meditation. Um, and we, you know, we experience some pretty crazy stuff we're in a, when we're in a group meditation. We can pick up on each other's energies. We can see the lights that are permeating off of one another, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so I just want to mention two names, Phil Good, who is um, a tarot card reader and astrologist. So I'll put their links below and also Kevin Scotland, um, him and his new, his buddy um, created a new channel. I think it's Love to Love. So yeah, I just want to mention those two and um, they're two divine masculine who are really trying to make a difference in the world. 
and I'm very proud of them. Okay, so let me just finish reading here. So you are not alone. There is no need to feel so isolated. <clears throat> Sorry, so isolated. Um, you've got your sisters by your side. The world is so much easier to face when you do it hand in hand. Even when they are, they are not there bodily, know that they are with you in mind and heart. Need an ear to listen, a shoulder to cry on, perhaps a pep talk to cheer you on. You know who to turn to, so don't hesitate to reach out. Very nice. Okay, just one moment. Okay, sorry about that. Um, so C, B, S, D. S. Oh, wow. So eight and nine. Okay. Here in the murky depths we dwell, trapped in darkness like a jail, obscured by she who holds the key, yet does not lift the veil, yet chooses not to lift the veil. Our clandestine existence can, our sh shadows no longer condone, very deep we wait, we sleep, unknowable or just unknown. A strange maiden in a tentacled headdress fixes her sightless eyes straight ahead, unaware of a bizarre creatures surrounding her at the bottom of the deepest sea. So the message is, be aware of deeply buried thoughts and desires. Lately you've felt some unfamiliar strings from thoughts and desires buried deep below the surface. These elements of self may be things you've forgotten and they may be things you have intentionally ignored or unconsciously repressed. However, they are still there, and it is time to acknowledge their existence. These ideas and emotions, perhaps even fears, may be difficult to retrieve or recall, but do not worry. Nothing is impossible, and the more you concentrate on becoming self-aware, the better you become at understanding these hidden pieces of your personality. Okay, so... You know, these hidden thoughts, I'm really getting that sense of into the unknown. This is into the darkness, diving into those places that you're afraid to face. Um, right? So open up and explore those parts of yourself. All right. So I do hope this helps. I'm sending massive love your way. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. All right. Cheers. Welcome back, guys. So this is the extended version of the Twin Flame reading. Um, so I'm going to be using my original deck here for the feminine side. I've already shuffled them pretty good off camera. And this is for the masculine side. All right. So let's begin with the... Okay, the overall energy for the coming week is express your love. So this is action. This is reaching out, communicating, um, you know, expressing your emotions. So I definitely wanted to read this one to you. Express your love. Um, so this card urges you to take the initiative in your love life. That may mean contacting someone to whom you're attracted and asking that person out on a date. It could also mean sending flowers, text, or gifts to your beloved. As you express romance, these feelings pour through you. You actually become the biggest beneficiary of your romantic displays as you enjoy how they make you feel too, an even greater degree. The more you give love, the more you experience it. Of course, do what makes, or sorry, uh, of course, do make sure that you're also open to re receiving the love that comes to you from God, the angels, and other people. So the overall energy, a desire to express love, but you also have to be willing to receive love. Okay, so... If you look at the overall energy cards here, we have somebody who's closed off, right? They're, um, they're not, you know, they're not revealing their emotions, their desires. There's some things that are being kept hidden. And the triplet card talks about reaching out, connecting with your vibe tribe. Uh, what's interesting is that the home card on the feminine side is also 
Um, it also talks about connecting with your vibe tribe. Very cool synchronicity there. We'll get into that a little bit later. So, right, you know, um, there's this action, this outward movement, um, and a desire to connect. So the feminine got retreat. So retreat is about, you know, it could either be about the two of you being alone in order to reconnect. It's, you know, um, actually moving away from people, disconnecting from people because, you know, there's these conflicting, um, I don't know, opinions and stuff like that. Um, that is causing some turmoil, right? So you want to retreat either by yourself or retreat with the masculine. So be since this is this card is coming up in the position of how you feel about yourself, um, I'm feeling a strong desire for you to withdraw from people. And the overall energy, you know, is to express yourself, to reach out, to connect with uh, the vibe tribe or somebody, um, you know, who is special to you that makes you feel like you've come home. Um, so I'm going to pull three clarifiers for that. The throat chakra. Wow. And the hermit and the knight of wands. My throat was, you know, cracking up there earlier. So I feel that the feminine um, she's repressing some emotions, especially with the Goblins card. Um, also with the Gentle Gardener that talks about watching your thoughts, you know, um, being a conscious co-creator. And then the Trust card is also, um, you know, not being able to trust another person, um, you know, so there's fear, and when you add fear to a situation, then it causes um, drama and negative thinking. So there is this idea of your thoughts um, really having an impact on the feminine. And she needs to trust, uh, but also to connect as well. Um, but more importantly, you know, she wants to communicate. She's repressing something. She's holding back. So, um, honest communication is needed. And so here we have the throat chakra coming in in the past. So either she has expressed herself or she's repressing, um, her, you know, wanting to communicate, um, desiring that. Now we got the hermit, which is very similar energy to retreat. Re the hermit seeks out solitude in order to find answers, right? And this is all about um, quieting the outside world so that you can listen to your internal voice in stillness. Um, the, the philosopher is also very wise. You know, he answers, he asks the deep questions. So the feminine, I believe, is in retreat mode. She is the hermit. It's been um, clarified. I mean, there may also be this desire to retreat, you know, go on a honeymoon with the masculine, especially when the engagement card is coming up. So um, the future position, we have movement. Okay, so the night of fire, this was actually a major theme for the month of June. So more synchronicities here. So there's going to be accelerated energy. The, your passion, um, your creativity is going to be ignited. Your desires um, are going to be a goal of yours. So a movement from stasis into um, heated passion um, is coming for the feminine. And again, this is how she views herself. She's coming out of that solitude into a very energetic phase. So this may even mean that she's cut off communication, perhaps. Communication was an issue, but she's in 
solitude. She's in hermit mode. And she will move forward towards that which she desires. So trust is how she sees the masculine. So the trust, again, this is, you know, having negative thoughts. And when you, you have negative thoughts, you create drama within the relationship. And that's not what you want. If you look at this, um, you see that, you know, the, the, the feminine is looking for answers. And the masculine is kind of pulling back. Right, so you yeah, have, you know, the universe is asking you to trust very simply. Trust that, you know, you're on the right path and that um, everything is happening as it should. Okay, so let's pull three cards for that. I'm going to do all the feminine first. So the Two of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Chariot. Wow. Um, so the two of swords, past position, this is indecision, mental conflict, unable to move forward, you're stuck. So this indecisiveness could be coming from the masculine. <clears throat> My voice is starting to crack up again, and the page of swords is right there. The, so we got two swords energy here. So the two of swords is related to the page of swords. Um, this is making a decision. This is communicating having clear, concise communication without fear of an emotional upset. Do you know what I mean? He just says what's on his mind. Now, and it's also making a choice, having clear ideas, mental clarity, where this is mental conflict. So this is um, also feeling, you know, you just can't make a decision because they're so important. So you're stuck, okay? And here we have um, having clarity, um, also communicating. Okay. So in terms of how the feminine feels about the masculine, um, she has some questions she needs clarifying. She, um, she wants to come out of this stuckness, right? Because the page is, um, an earth energy. So it's, you know, especially when it's coupled with the air, there's not really much movement there. So she wants to speak her truth. She wants clarity. She wants to come out of this stuckness. But she also wants to trust. She wants the masculine to trust in her. Now, the future position, we have the chariot again, this bold movement forward. So this is pursuing things that make you happy. It's, an, you know, it's actually very similar to ride the wave, right? you're riding the wave of, of uh, abundance, you're using your, your talents um, to move you for, forward. You feel like you're in the zone, but this is also taking control of your life and directing it in the direction that you want, right? So here we have stuckness to movement. Okay, so what does she want the masculine to know? Engagement. So engagement is making a commitment to yourself as well as another person. I think I wanted to read this to you. Okay, so engagement. It says, congratulations, this card signals pending nuptials beginning with romantic engagement. Even if you're not presently in a relationship, the, the angels can see one upon your horizon. So this talks about the future. There's something beautiful going to be happening in the future, a commitment, um, a celebration. So this card comes to you as reassurance, specifically so that you'll choose to release any worries about whether or not you're going to get married because you will deep romantic love um, in which you feel treasured is in the cards for you the deeper meaning of this card relates to commitment first you must commit to taking care of yourself you establish boundaries about what you will and will not accept in your relationships and in other life areas such as career home lifestyle and so on 
Next, you honor your self-commitment by taking decisive action and telling others how you truly feel about their behavior. As you commit to yourself, the universe sends you additional experiences of loving commitment, including the promise of marriage. So engagement could also mean engaging in communication, honest, open communication, setting up boundaries. What will you allow? What won't you allow? And that also points to the page of swords as well, right? There's, um, that, that is open, honest communication. So what this card is asking you to do is to tell people, tell others how you truly feel, you know, don't repress these feelings, these emotions, open up to it, express yourself. Um, and if you can't talk to the masculine, then write it out, right? Get it out of your system because the goblins are still whispering in your ear. Okay, so engagement, let's pull the clarifiers. So the Knight of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords, and Temperance. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles could represent earth energy. This is air energy. Um, we have air in the present position, so I think this is more in your mind. Um, communication as well. Um, so the Knight of Pentacles is very slow movement forward but it is movement. This is very calculated energy. It's planning for the future, um, making it to the finish line. So slow and steady wins the race. So this, there's a feeling that, you know, you've been the, in this for the long haul. You saw that long-term goal, that commitment, and, and you've been committed, you've been there for the long haul, basically, is what I've, I'm seeing with this. Now, the energy has turned from, you know, groundedness and commitment into very scattered energy with the Knight of Swords. This is um, a free spirit, right? A social butterfly that you can't hold them down, you can't tie them down. Um, they're also thrill seekers, but they are in, they, they want to talk, you know, their, their greatest gift is get to gab. They love to talk. They want to talk about the deep issues. Yeah. So, you know, this could be sitting down and talking honestly and openly about your emotions, your feelings, but the mood, you know, the energy has moved from a very solid energy into a scattered energy, which will come into balance in the future with Temperance card. So this is a return to balance. All areas of your life are balanced once again. And, and this is because, you know, you've been able to temper yourself. You are not overindulging. You're not really going anywhere. You're in the now. You're also able to spread yourself out evenly at work, at home, um, you know, at play, right, and spiritually as well. So this is also, this, this is also the, the uh, ultimate union card for Twin Flames. I'm having a really hard time talking. Either I'm stuttering um, or unable to get the word out or my throat starts to croak up. Weird. Um, okay, so thank God there's balance in the future. Awesome. So once you have, are able to balance those areas of your life, commit to yourself first, create those boundaries, get control of your life again, um, then everything will fall into line, I believe, right? So that you want the masculine to know that you feel that things are up in the air, a little scattered, you want to communicate, um, but that balance must start with you first. Okay, so I've actually switched these cards around. It just, I feel it just flows a little bit better. So this is actually the feminine side. And I had it originally, you know, peak over here, sun embrace over here. So it just flows a little bit better. So you can see how this card is connected to this card a little bit more clear. And same thing over here, the masculine is 
is more uplifted, right? You can see that um, progression. Okay, anyways, let me carry on here. Um, so at the heart, we have sad embrace. So, you know, it's very cold, it's very isolated, you know, a sense of feeling alone. You have no one to turn to, no one to help you, right? And so, again, it's talking about those voices in your head, the goblin, you know, isolating yourself. So, yeah, and, and the advice is to reach out to connect with like-minded people. Um, so because this is such a hard card, I want to read it. 45. Ow. Okay. Loss is part of life. Let go and allow time to heal you. So let go of your worries. Let go of your need to... Um, you know, your fears, trust, right? But also, you know, I'm, I'm getting this real need to open up. You're, you're, you're holding back, and because you're holding back, it is creating pain, you know, sadness. Okay, well, let me carry on. Um, you may be entering into a period where loss is a theme. Perhaps you're having to let go of a long cherished dream. If so, take heart, for the ending may have been for your highest good. A better and more powerful dream will be realized in your life if you can accept the loss. Relationships based on a faulty foundation are meant to end at the time. Disappointment is a form of perception. See, there's those thoughts again. If, if you're at, oh my God, my throat. If your expectations weren't met, a sense of loss arises along with sadness and grief. Express these emotions. Tears are like healing rain and can restore life to a parched inner landscape. Growth is always assured. Whatever the loss, however great it is, let go and experience your feelings so that you may soon see what beauty lies ahead. So yeah, feel those feels, girls. <clears throat> okay, so let me just pull three cards. Oh. Third eye chakra. The Queen of Hearts and the, wow, wow. See all the possibilities. Very cool. And I think that's what the home card is about as well. And, and the Gentle Gardener. So let me get back to the Third Eye Chakra. So this is your intuitive ability. It's your subconscious mind. Um, you're having psychic abilities, right? We got this... Um, psychic intuitive connection with the uh, Queen of Cups um, who is a water energy who is very intuitive um, so we got a double whammy and then we got an expansiveness as well in the future so the third eye chakra um, you you know this card talked about the a parched inner landscape Right, so tears are healing rain. And the Queen of Cups is somebody who's very emotional. She's got, you know, queens are water, uh, emotion, and also she is water, so emotion. So a double whammy of that. So there is an emotional imbalance. She needs to have balance in all areas. So in the heart space, she's very emotional. She's very sad. Um, she feels alone. She feels disconnected. In the past, she she had the third eye chakra activate. She used her intuition, right? And maybe she felt she had foresight. She knew she would end up feeling this way at some point, right? So there we have the, these thoughts. Um, trust your intuition to guide you. If you're feeling emotional watch a sad movie you know if you've been avoiding um, watching uh, romantic comedies or something or dramas what have you put that on feel those emotions allow them to come to the, the surface and then you will be able to open like a flower okay so the future position we have the two of wands so this is an expansion right the door is open and 
So this is seeing all the possibilities, seeing things from a higher perspective, um, looking to the future. Um, I love it, right? So she's walking through that door. I don't know if you can hear, but I put some music on. It is Tibetan Bowls, Heart Energy. Okay, so how does she feel about the relationship? Gentle Gardener. So this card talks about paying attention to your thoughts. Um, and the gardener is the energy that is sent out into the universe and then is reflected back at you. So... In terms of the relationship, you're conscious of your thoughts. You understand that your thoughts create your reality. So you're being very gentle, very kind, very nurturing. But at the same time, I almost feel like you're stepping on eggshells, right? You, you don't want to upset the balance. You're repressing your fears or rep repressing... Um, you're not willing to communicate or I don't know either way you are opening in the future it's such a beautiful energy the knight of wands the chariot the temperance card the two of wands beautiful energy to look forward to you're stuck you feel stuck but you're you're moving on okay and and that's all a matter of perspective shifting your perspective right this card talked about um, your thoughts are just a matter of perspective. You know, if you think about sad things, then you're going to create that reality. Okay, so let's pull three cards. Wow, the heart chakra. Wow, that's crazy. Um, Seven of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Heart chakra, past position, another chakra activated. So in terms of the relationship, it opened your heart. You felt love. Um... You've, you were able to express your love, the, that love was flowing between you and, and the masculine. Um, and because of that, your reality was beautiful, and that energy is still there. It's green. It's growing. The Seven of Wands present position. This is um, <clears throat> speaking up, expressing yourself, um, it's also a very defensive pose, not giving up, not backing down. Uh, this is feeling like you're on the right direction. So in terms of the relationship, there is a struggle. You, you, you want to communicate. You want to open things up again. You want to feel like this connection is on fire. Um, you feel powerful, you know, but there are there's a sense that you got to hold your ground, you got to hold your position. So maybe the feminine, even though there's this so much love uh, and connectedness here, there's this, um, you know, standoffish kind of stance here. But, you know, this could also talk about needing to communicate, express, put out into the, the world, you know, um, seed your intentions with positive vibrations. The Page of Pentacles, Future Position. So this is a double Earth energy, so it's non-movement. It, um, it is also a commitment to long-term goals. So once you decide and commit to an idea, there's no turning back. So this could be the, the feminine, um, you know, throwing her mind into the books. Um, this is you know, researching, um, it could be starting a new job, um, whatever it is, it is focus on the future and a commitment to better yourself, right? So this could also mean communication in 3D. So this is how the feminine feels about the relationship. Um, there's so much love there. There is a standoffishness there, a desire to speak up, but you know, um, also this feeling that you co-create your uh, reality, so you have to control your thoughts. There's a gentleness here that's coming from a place of love. In the future, 
there is, I think, a reemergence of commitment to the long-term goal, right? Remember, we got that Knight of Pentacles taking it one step at a time. Um, so I believe there's that return to that, that goal um, and creating, you know, manifesting that goal into your reality. The gentle gardener manifesting, manifesting, manifesting your, your reality. Um, and this is about commitment to making your dreams a reality, manifesting. So the Goblins card, I want to read this to you as well, another very important card. So I'm just realizing that I'm doing something here. Um, as I'm, before I um, actually started the reading, I did something that I hadn't done for about a year. And that is actually sit down and make notes. If you look at my earlier videos, I... I make connections between the cards and I hadn't done that for a very long time so you know I, you know I was I was playing the victim in the first you know the the reading before this the basic version of this you know it's you know feeling sorry for myself um, and then really looking hard at that okay so where you know why do I feel that I'm losing views why do I feel like I'm I'm disconnecting um, from the channel and from people and all this other I feel like I'm losing control right so you need to kind of return back to the basics and that's what I'm trying to do um, really dive deep into this reading to look for those hard answers um, you know what what are my goblins and how can I turn that around so I'm returning home to myself to discover those answers. All right, so before we started, I also bookmarked um, all the, the pages. So if I decided to read something, I could easily turn to it. And now I'm realizing that um, as I'm reading, I'm taking little cards out. So I'm thinking of, you know, revealing them later and seeing if they make it a sentence or make um yeah have a message to share so so far this is the feminine side okay so i also want to take out the goblin one so number five okay so you know, look at these two cards here. There's a goblin forest, which represents fears, right? And then this represents comfort, safety, the opposite energy, right? So this is your internal uh, energy, right? It is the goblin. So the advice is to turn it into home. And it's all a matter of perspective. Okay, let me just get the next page ready here. Okay, fear is an illusion. Choose love today. Forgive yourself and others. Goblins are born when you're wounded and something essential is lost in that experience. From that point on, as you forget your wholeness, they remain with you in the shadows. So your shadow side is your challenge. They're there to remind you of what brought them into being by mimicking your voice, tricking you into believing that you're unworthy, victimized, or unlovable. They hold you hostage through low self-worth, self-sabotage, and the feeling that you're lacking what you need. If goblins pay you a visit, know that they represent the shadow of your own self or someone else's, and that they are leading you into a potentially reactive situation. So, appearance of this card is an opportunity for growth, however, and a signal that you must love yourself. No human is without flaws. The goblin's message is that you must release resentment and negative self-talk. Within you is a spark of the divine. Ask, for, ask, help for, uh, help, ask spirit to help you heal. Miracles can and do happen. Let go of negativity. So, there's that negative thinking, right? and ask for help, open up. Okay, so three cards. Wow, the crown chakra, 
the Three of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, so another chakra activation in the past. Wow, I just realized the throat chakra up here. So the throat chakra, then the Two of Swords, the uh, Knight of Pentacles, the Third Eye Chakra, Heart Chakra, Crown Chakra. So the past position, in the past, there was this major activation within yourself, within the connection. The, you know, the connection opened you up, this relationship opened you up. Um, you're struggling, but then you're opening up again and there's movement forward. So you're moving through that blockage. You're rediscovering home within yourself self-love, um, but feeling comfortable in, in your own skin. This doesn't look like very comfortable skin to live in. Okay, so crown chakra, this is your higher self. Um, you know, this is the highest level of enlightenment, your connection to, to all, to the collective, to source. So when you're in, a, you're in this state, you're able to receive messages, to download information, you get creative inspiration. So there was this higher knowing, this high level of activation in the past, but right now it's cluttered and clogged with um, fears and pain from the past. The Three of Cups in the present position is your vibe tribe again. This is connecting with your friends. Um, this is the creation of love. When two people come together, they create love. This is a celebration of love. So I'm almost feeling that the, uh, sorry, the universe is saying that in order to reconnect with source, you know, with yourself, you need to open yourself up and connect with others, right? Don't hide away in darkness and allow those fears, those thoughts, those voices to deter you. So the um, Seven of Pentacles is in the future position. So this is... Uh, the gestation period so it's a, a forced stop in order to consider the future just to consider where you've made mistakes in the past is it mercury retrograde oh my god um okay so this is thinking in consideration so in terms of the this challenge um there will be a forced stop and you will need to really look at the situation, right? And so we see a stop again with the page of pentacles. This is almost like realizing I need a plan for the future. I need to really think about the possibilities. Where do I want to go? How do I want to get there? And then you're going for it. But these fears, you know, these thoughts um, definitely need to be addressed return to the state of purity with all these chakras oh my god um so the met the advice is 27 home i think i want to read that as well do i really no because i've kind of already explained it right so this is authenticity this is being comfortable in your own skin this is creating an environment um you know where people feel like they're coming home to peace, harmony, right? And so it all starts with you, self-love, and feeling confident and comfortable in your own skin. So the advice is to clear those cobwebs. And again, this card talks about connecting with like-minded people, your vibe tribe, your friends, um, people that feel like you you know, you've come home to them. Um, and there was one other thing, but it slipped my mind. Okay, I'm going to pull the clarifier. So the Queen of Swords 
the Seven of Cups and the Page of Wands. The Queen of Swords, past position. Um, so this is somebody is, un you know, there's an emotional element there, but she has control of her emotions. She says what's on her mind. She's very cutting. She's the Ice Queen. So the advice is you may, you know, look at your reactions. What kind of energy are you projecting? Maybe you're not aware um, that you've created um, a barrier, right? So the advice is to be welcoming, to be warming, you know, to, to open yourself up emotionally, express your emotions because you're closed off. Um, the Queen of Cups could be just that, you know, advice to open up and express your emotions. Um, not necessary that she's an emotional person. Be, you know, express yourself. The uh, Seven of Cups is confusion emotionally, not knowing where to go, which road to choose. Um, the theme here is that you are on the right path, right? Trust. Um, there's beautiful things in the horizon. Um, it's all your thoughts, your perception that is creating um, a negative energy, a feeling of loss, of lack. So the way home is to within yourself, right? Home is love. Um, home is where the heart is. So this is also a card of following your heart, right? So the future position, we have the Page of Wands, so this is more fire, right? We got that Knight of Fire in the future. Um, we do have a Knight of, or sorry, the Page of Pentacles in the future, but that coupled with the Page of Wands, there's a lot of excitement and commitment um, to this goal. You, you suddenly have this inspiration, this great idea. So this could be great news coming into you. Um, I do see like a lot of abundance and um a, you know a quickening of energy it's like this moment of arrival but yet you you're waiting you know your waiting is over you receive that news um and it excites you it invigorates you it you know sets you off on a path to to happiness and you know, this is also a spiritual card as well. So being closed off um, emotionally, maybe even a little cutting, being confused emotionally, and then poof, you know, there's so much excitement. So it's all a matter of perspective, and I think that's what this card is really pointing to as well. All right, so now when you look at all these cards, coupled with express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. <clears throat> I'm seeing a consideration to do so and then possibly a movement towards connecting, expressing yourself, feeling passionate again, feeling emotional again, feeling excited about the future, feeling committed to the future, perfect balance, harmony. Get control of those reins. Okay, so let's look at these cards, see what they say. Okay, so resolution, a hero, talk to me, hold on. Okay, so resolution, talk to me, hold on. I'm almost feeling okay, obviously, you know, there's unresolved things here. You want a resolution. Um, the Knight of Swords is the champion. He fights for truth and justice. He is the hero. So it's almost like don't be a hero or you... Mm. A hero. 
talk to me. I'm holding on. Hold on. Maybe the feminine is, you know, putting her, be her best foot forward. Um, I don't know. Maybe there's a false mask with the, the hero. Be a hero. Or why don't you take the higher road? Why don't you, you know, be the hero. Be the champion. Talk to me. I'm holding on. Um, I see a future, but there's something that needs to be resolved through communication. All right, so let's move into the masculine side. So the masculine got new love for how he feels about himself. So a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So, you know, this card could talk about someone else. Somebody else has caught his eye. This is in the position of how he feels about himself. So I feel that he's open to the possibility of love, a new start, a new connection, whether it be with somebody else or with you, the feminine. And now this card also talks about, um, you know, if you're in a committed relationship and you're having emotions for somebody else, then you kind of need to check yourself. You know, what... What in that relationship is leaving you open, leaving the door open for you to be emotionally connected with somebody else? So there is definitely this um, feeling of betrayal. You know, be careful. Be honest and open about your, your emotions, how you feel about somebody. You know, before you even think about engaging in another connection. All right, so three cards for clarifiers. Wow, Ace of Cups. The King of Fire and the Four Swords. Wow, did I not say that this card, New Love, reminds me of the Ace of Cups? Um, so the Ace of Cups is being in a place where you can fully receive love and give love. You're an open vessel. So this means letting go of the past, forgiving yourself, uh, forgiving others, heal. So... There's this new love and connection, this newness, this opening, this new beginning. Uh, he feels very passionate, very powerful. Um, he feels like he wants to conquer the world or change the world, make changes for the better. Right, so there's love in his heart. He's open. There's a sense of healing here and a lot of power. Um, the future position is the Four of Swords. So this is somebody who retreats. Um, after heartbreak and seek solitude in order to heal and calm the mind so if this was a new loving connection that is stirring your emotions making you feel powerful um, there may be heartbreak in terms of that connection and then you're returning to um, this healing this need to heal um, or you know in terms of the feminine, um, maybe you're, you have expectations or there's an attraction there, but your needs aren't being met, so you, you feel this, you know, heartbreak. I'm not too sure if, if it relates to you, so please leave a comment, let me know. Okay, so stay optimistic. This is how you feel about the feminine. So what I see over he right here is a feminine energy who is offering a gift, who is open um, to giving. So positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Stay optimistic. So have faith, trust, be open. Um, but this is all about a frame of mind, right? So if you're being negative, if you're complaining about, about the feminine, you need to shift that perspective. So this is how you feel about the feminine. So let's see what the clarifiers are. So the uh, Eight of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Pentacles. So we got two eights. So eight is about um, infinity, cycles of completion. Um, it is momentum. So it's kind of a transition energy. It's always moving and cycling through. So the Eight of Fire 
past position. This is an accelerated energy. It's, it's sending out positive vibrations into the universe, sending out um, loving messages, texting. Um, cute, this is Cupid's arrows. Now remember that the overall energy is express your love so that it is communicating. It is going on a date. It is um, making those romantic gestures. Okay, so in the past, there's a sense that there was this energy so there was this positive energy sent out. There's still more positive energy. The Eight of Pentacles is positive movement forward. This is feeling very grounded and secure, um, having abundance flowing in, and that propels you forward. So there, it's almost like these two cards are very reminiscent of Peaks of Joy and Ride the Wave. So in terms of how the masculine feels about the feminine, very crazy synchronicities happening here. Accelerated energy, enthusiasm, peaks of joy, um, and positive movement forward, feeling like abundance is coming in. You can ride that wave, right? So that's why the masculine's in its very positive vibration. The future position is the ace of pentacles. So we've got two earth energies here. So this is more abundance flowing in. So the seed has returned. Um, you sent all positive vibrations. Now that abundance flowing to you over and over again. So this is the power of positive thinking. You think positive thoughts. Uh, and if you're in that positive energy, that abundance will flow to you. So. This is a windfall card. This could be a new beginning in 3D reality, but it's a gift or something happens where um, you're able to make your dreams a reality from that gift. So I want to actually read that card. So stay optimistic about your life. So let's see, stay optimistic. The angels send you this card to remind you that you have strong influence upon your love life satisfaction. Yes, right. So that again that talks about um, co creating, right? Um, being in a positive state of mind. Um, if you've been complaining or worrying lately, the angels guide you to shift to a more optimistic perspective. Even if you've had your, your romantic hopes repeatedly dashed, there's still reason to hold the faith and real love can be yours if you believe it. So believe. Today, take action steps to positively manifest the love life you desire. So. Take steps, express your love. Whether you're single or in a partnership, begin by visualizing yourself as romantically happy and satisfied. See and, and ima imagine yourself with a wonderful partner who embodies the qualities that are important to you. Imagine that person appreciating and loving you too. You can write a list and conduct a journal session about your feelings, hopes, desires, and intention. That's what I was saying earlier about, you know, writing it down. If you can't communicate, write it down. Express yourself. You can also create a dream board with images and uh, phrases related to your love life goals. Paste it onto a poster board. A daily look at this dream board with positive intent and follow any inner guidance to take action related to your dreams. Your positive outlook will make you a more physically and energetically attractive person, which will definitely help you, your relationship with yourself and everyone else too. So yeah, being positive, sending those positive vibrations out, obviously is working, right? Because it comes back to you tenfold. So getting to know you is what you want the feminine to know. So it says, as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So again, this is about expressing your love. 
um, wanting to know that person, genuinely want to know that person. So this means that you need to reveal yourself. You have to open yourself up before, you know, you can get another person to open up. So if you want to experience that romance, you want to feel those deep emotions uh, and love, it, it starts with you first. So um, getting to know each other. Um, if you give love, you will receive love. But this is really, you know, wanting to get to know that person on an intimate level. Okay, so let's pull three cards. So the King of Pentacles, the Third Eye Chakra, and the Page of Swords. King of Pentacles past position is somebody who is a provider, who's successful, who's grounded. Um, so this could be, you know, his view of the feminine, but I'm not really seeing that. This is what the masculine wants the feminine to know. In the past, he was there. He was grounded. Um, he, you know, the sense that there's this home life, you know, this father figure energy here where he wanted to look after his family, create a home, create this stable life, right? Um, there's a sense that he's coming from a successful place in terms of um, the material world. So the third eye chakra is a movement from the 3D reality inward. So this is diving deep into the subconscious to find those answers. Um, it is paying attention to your dreams, to your thoughts. So this is looking for answers. So there's this intuitive ability here. The third eye chakra showed up in the, the feminine's past position. So there, you know, there's this desire to reach out with to each other in the 5D. Um, much like I mentioned earlier in the basic reading, I was mentioning how I have this meditative group, right? And there's so many crazy experiences that we've had um, that you can only experience in a meditative uh, group because they, qual you know, they verify everything that you've experienced to be real. So um, that's another important reason why you want that vibe tribe, that feeling of homeness, so you can experience that with, an, with other people. So third eye chakra activation, what he wants the feminine to know is that um, when he goes within, when he listens to his intuition, he knows that this connection is secure, it's grounded, it's coming from this place of grounded security. Um, you know, and there's also this desire possibly to, you know, create that sense of home for the feminine. So it's almost like he's ready to um, connect with the feminine and he's coming from a grounded, real place. The page of air in the future position, so this is communication, right? The page was showing up over here with trust um, how she viewed the masculine. So there's this communication that will happen and I feel that he reveals a part of himself. Um, something that was hidden. Something that he's discovered. And again, it's a movement away from the 3D reality into a more spiritual 5D so at the heart space, peaks of joy. So this is being happy, feeling like you're achieving success, um, wanting to share that happiness with others. So joy is contagious, right? So very uplifting, very positive, vibrant energy. So do I want to read it? Yeah, it's at the heart space. I think it's beautiful energy. So let's do that. 33. I just opened it 33. That was interesting. Okay, so peaks of joy. Your life is filled with happiness, so share it with others. Joy is yours today. No matter what your inquiry, you will be happy with the result. You're coming closer to the sense of achievement, and you've worked hard for it. So you feel like you've been putting a lot of work and effort. 
um, into manifesting love and joy in your life and, you know, 3D material things. Um, and you've worked hard. You deserve it. Okay, so you're surrounded by true companions and events that are synchronistically arranged to bring you to the next level of your life. The world is singing in beautiful harmony. Life is exhilarating and hopeful. Let gratitude fill your heart and remember to share your happiness and joy. Uh, joy is contagious. So, um, you know, you at in the heart space, you're in a beautiful place. The birds are singing. You know, unicorns are running around on rainbows. I don't know. Okay, so let's pull the clarifiers. Transformation, very nice. Wow, 11 11. And the Three of Swords. So, transformation, past position. So, this is a butterfly um, rising from the chrysalis. And here we got that rising into freedom, into exhilaration, into excitement, right? So, you cut away a lot of things, a lot of pain, a lot of um, baggage from the past. And you moved into a positive place right and those peaks of joy come with the realization you know of a twin flame connection maybe you're seeing a lot of signs and synchronicities but you feel like you've achieved um oneness with yourself and with the twin on in the heart space now the three of swords in the future position the three of swords um the four of swords remember was over in the future position for you and how you know how you view yourself so there's this energy of um, the three of swords coming to you so this is um, expectations when things don't work out you know it's exactly this card sad embrace so that is you know it's I understand why you're happy. Three, three, peaks of joy. Thirty-three, the the twin flame connection, um, and then this sadness coming from being open to love, expressing your love. So maybe you know again, if your attention was to someone new, someone who isn't your twin flame. Um, Maybe it doesn't work out. Now, if it's about the twin flame connection, if you have expectations and those expectations aren't met, then it leaves you feeling heartbroken. So, um, yeah, be careful of your thoughts. There's a weird mirroring happening here. Okay, so ride the wave. This is how you see the relationship. It's 14, riding the wave of success. So this is, you know, very similar energy to the chariot. I almost want to read that one too. So, um, right now, success is easy and effortless, so the way you see the relationship is easy and effortless, and that it brings you abundance. Um, yeah, and it also talks about all your talents, coupled with your hopes, dreams, will carry you forward. So again, very similar energy, energy to the chariot. Um, so this also talks about an accelerated, um, spectacular energy activity in the future um, an acknowledgement that you're definitely on the right path so in terms of relationship there is a momentum building you see your goal you see your sights um, in your sights you see the, the divine feminine and you feel like you're almost there the four of cups the magician and the high priestess. Four of cups past position. This is disconnect, um, discontent, stagnation. Um, this is ghosting somebody, retreat. So this is an emotional withdrawal. Okay, so 
where there was no movement and stagnation, there's movement and exhilaration. The magician is uh, attention and focus on manifesting your dreams into reality. Very cool. Activation of the crown chakra. In terms of the relationship, there is a desire, a power that is activated to change your reality from a negative into a positive. The future position is the high priestess, so this is um, using the power of your intuition in order to guide you um, to seek and discover the answers that you're looking for. But what I feel here is you're driven by your intuition and your conscious mind and that will bring you nothing but abundance no doubt so very positive energy on both sides in terms of their thought process um, very positive very futuristic um, and a sense of growth and momentum okay so the challenge is the compass so again, I just wanted to read this card. It's very short. And the reason why I want to read it is because it points to, oh, actually, this one didn't have a card in it. Did it fall out? Okay. Um, so compass, it points to You know, your money, money, pros, money, property, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things that you experience along your journey. So your challenge is to realize that success does not come from achievement. It comes from, you know, being in tune with your higher self you know that's the uh, magician energy there you know as long as you do what you know stick to your moral compass um, and your higher self your spirit or source whatever you want to call it then you'll be fine so don't chase after material possessions so let me pull the clarifiers for that, so I'm not going to read it. Basically explained it already. So the Nine of Swords, wow, the Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles, nice. So we got two Nines with an Eight in the middle. Um, the Nine of Swords is fear, worry, guilt, anxiety, right? Up at night, lost, confused, you did something wrong, I don't know. So... As long as you orient your compass to true north, you'll never be lost, right? So the Eight of Swords, you feel um, locked out. You feel like you're in jail, right? So that's what the Beasties card was about. You feel imprisoned. Um, there are some things that you may even be repressing. Obviously, you are because you were really worried about something. You were lost. You know, this is the dark night of the soul, but you believe those thoughts. You believe you're locked out. Now the future is beautiful. The Nine of Pentacles is that abundance, that that um, those riches, those things that you work so hard for manifesting, right? Those seeds of intentions were sent out and that abundance is flowing. You do have a reason to celebrate. So this card is independent self-love. It is harvest, uh, feeling like you've finally arrived, you've achieved. Um, and this all has to do with the 3D reality. So what I'm feeling with this is that once you realize that your compass must be focused within to yourself, then you will achieve this confident um, feeling of success and grounded within yourself. So that is the challenge to stay on the right path, to, to keep the faith to not get lost in the darkness. So this is this card also talks about taking a step into the unknown. You're about to take you're about to enter uncharted territories and into the unknown is exactly about that. So let me read that instead. 
Okay. So into the unknown. Trust in all will be revealed. Life is an adventure and often new opportunities will arise that you won't know how to deal with. This is one of those times. You're required to trust that the new phase will reveal wonders and miracles as you step into unknown territories. Imagine that you're not only a pathfinder but a pathmaker. Whatever your inquiry, trust that you'll be safe. Stay aware as you discover new and marvelous territories and valuable treasures. Okay, so um, there's a desire to reach out, to connect, to express your love, right? And for those who decide to withdraw, to retreat into the four of swords because you're afraid of the three of swords, your heart being broken, um, then you'll just manifest that in your life. You'll manifest heartbreak and pain and, and rejection. So this card is the advice. This card is to take a step into the unknown, to not be afraid. Um, whatever answers you seek will be revealed, and that's why you're going to feel like the Nine of Pentacles, which is why the High priest is, uh, Priestess is showing up. That's the intuitive, right? Um, trust. Take that step, and it can go either way. Abundance will flow to you, or pain and heartbreak. It's up to you. All right, so, whoops, let's pull three cards. The Bay Chakra, wow, the Fool card, and the Two of Pentacles. So the Bay Chakra is the lowest chakra, fear, insecurity, doubt. Um, this is your basic human needs aren't being met, like sustenance, shelter, right? So there was this definite insecurity coming from the past, the Nine of Swords, the Four of Cups. Um, yeah, so because of that, it's created this shaky foundation. You fear, you know, taking a step into the unknown. And oh my God, the Fool card. This is taking a leap of faith, trusting. No attachments, no expectations being free and childlike. So the advice is to be like that child. Rediscover the child within. Take a leap of faith. And the future pos position is the two of pentacles. Um, so this again is a feeling of either being pulled in two different directions or just feeling imbalanced and a need to rebalance yourself. Um, but this is also a card that the seed of intention has taken root and now it's in changing. It's changing the environment. Um, that Ace of Pentacles uh, is in the future. There is a promise of abundance coming towards you, a payoff. Uh, but you must be first willing to take that leap of faith. Wow, these very powerful readings. I can't believe the synch synchronicities that keep showing up over and over again to verify what I'm saying, to confirm exactly what I'm saying or suspecting on both sides. Okay, so let's look at the um, cards here. So pay attention. Commitment. I'm sorry I hurt you. Good luck. Wow. So pay attention. Pay attention to... Okay, this says ignore. So you want to pay attention. You want to get to know the feminine um, you, you are, you're starting to pay attention to your inner cues, inner signs, synchronicities, perhaps, um, commitment. We got this desire to make an, a, a commitment to, you know, deepen the bond, to discover commonalities, to reveal yourself, express your love. I'm sorry I hurt you. I'm sorry I hurt you. That is so beautiful. Forgiving yourself, forgiving others, um, communicating how you feel. You know, maybe you realize you hurt the feminine, and so now you're bringing that to the forefront with the Three of Swords. And then good luck. So this is all about good luck, good fortune coming towards you. Okay, and that's a theme over and over again. So, um, 
I don't want to ignore uh, my emotions anymore. I want to reveal how I feel. Um, I want to get to know you. I want to make a commitment. I want to deepen the bond. I'm sorry if I hurt you. Um, but I feel that the tide has turned and that I'm in a positive frame of mind and yeah, it's all about, you know, I want to take a leap of faith and I want to start a new life, really is what I'm feeling with that. All right, so let's pull two final cards as the final message from the universe. So I'm going to pull it from the Zen Osho, Osho Zen, see, now I'm dyslexic, oh my god. Definitely feel like that. Seven of Cups confused. I need to get a handle on my thoughts. They're very scattered. Okay, so for the feminine first and the masculine. I don't want to mix them up here. Okay, so let's look at the feminine first. Innocence, nice. So this is a sun card, the most positive card in the deck. Um, but this is also return to innocent state of mind. Stop worrying. Release your worry. Okay, so Zen says that if you drop knowledge and within knowledge everything is included, your name, your identity, everything, because this has been giving, been given to you by others. If you drop all that has been given to you by others, you will have a totally different quality to your being, innocence. This will be a crucifixion of the persona, the personality, and there will be a resurrection of your innocence. You will become a child again, reborn. So Spirit is asking you to drop your personality, your identity, everything you ever knew. Stop holding on to any pain or regret, those fears, that identity. Rediscover yourself. You are a beautiful child of light. For the masculine, nice. Trust. Trust. Um, so this is also the Knight of Cups. Oopsie. Okay. Don't waste your life for that which is going to be taken away. Trust life. If you trust, only then can you drop your knowledge. Only then can you put your mind aside. So dropping knowledge is actually a, a common theme in these two cards. And with trust, something immense open ups, opens up. Then this life is no longer ordinary. It becomes full of God, overflowing. When the heart is innocent and the walls disappeared, you are bridged with infinite infinity. So there's that open heart idea again. And also not to close off in the future. Um, when the heart is innocent and the walls have disappeared, you are bridged with infinity and you're not deceived. There is nothing that can be taken away from you. That which can be taken away from you is not worth keeping, and that which cannot be taken away from you, or sorry, um, that which can be taken away from you is not worth keeping, and that which cannot be taken away from you. Why should you, uh, why should one be afraid of what is being taken away? It cannot be taken away. There's no possibility. You cannot lose your real treasure. That word treasure keeps being repeated over and over again. Wanting to be treasured, which is the engagement card. Um, life is a treasure. Treasure is awaiting you. Miracles are about to transpire. I don't know. Really struggling with words. 
So I'm going to leave it at that. The, mess the universe is asking you to trust, and the universe is asking the feminine to return to that state of pure innocence. All right, so I do hope this helps. I'm sending massive love your way. Cheers.